Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gass here with another iPhone SDK tutorial for you guys today on changing the color of a UI switch. Now, before you guys get excited, the only two options you could change the colors to is either make it blue, which is the default, or actually change this to orange. Now, some of you have probably seen this happen, and you're wondering how, and I'm going to tell you how to do that today. Okay, so why you might want to change it orange? I don't know. Some people just like the color orange better than blue, but the main reason it's um, when a UI switch is orange, it's usually mainly used, like, if you turn it on, there's a warning to turning that on. You know what I'm saying? It's used for stuff like that, but, you know, people might want it, but for you guys who want to know how to do it, I'm going to tell you. So, Xcode, file, new project. I'm going to create a view-based application, and I'm going to name this UI switch. Okay, in my nib files, I want to open up the switch view controller. I'm going to want to drag in a switch. I'm going to select the files owner, click on the identity, and make a new outlet, and I'm going to name this my switch. You can name that whatever you want. The ID has to be a UI switch, though. Then I'm going to drag that outlet to the UI switch itself. Command S or File Save and then file, write class files, save and replace. Okay, I also want to maybe change this, never mind, I'm gonna quit out of that and then as you can see in my classes I have a new outlet stated here and it's my switch. So I want to press enter twice on my dot m and do a dash space open parentheses void close parentheses view capital D for did and capital L for load, space, open curly bracket, enter twice, open bracket, my switch, space, set, alternate, and um, set is lowercase, and the A in alternate capitals, and colors, with a capital um, C, colon, capital yes, for everything, close bracket, semicolon, enter twice, close curly bracket. What this is telling you to do is to set the alternate colors for that UI switch. If I put this to no, it will change it back to blue. If I put that to yes, it'll make it orange. If I build and go, it's orange, guys. So, say, uh, you know, I don't like it, I can change that to no. Build and go, save all, and what do you know, it's blue again. Alright, so I hope this helped guys, and that's just pretty much how to change the colors of a UI switch. Thanks for watching, and if this helped, please subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more SDK tutorials guys. Have a nice day.